Hey guys, my name's Sid Kell. I've been a full-time business owner since I was 18 and a six-figure business owner since I was 20 years old. I'm passionate about Jesus, living in victory, and showing others how to do the same. My channel is gonna show you how to go from dreamer to doer. So let's get organized and make a game plan to make your dreams happen. And most importantly, to step into all God has called you to be. Let's do this. Hello everyone, today I am making a video on three tips to not get so distracted when reading the word. Because as a dreamer to doer, for me personally, me showing up for myself means diving into the word and spending time with God. And I think all of us, you know, have this desire to grow in the word and grow in our relationship with Christ, but we get distracted because the world is crazy and things are moving so quickly and we just get distracted. For instance, I have my own business, I'm married, my dog is like driving me crazy right now, and things just happen and it's hard to, you know, stay on task when reading the Bible. So today I am giving you three tips on how to stay focused and have a very productive Bible reading routine. Okay, tip number one, we love this little guy. The phone is a great tool, but for me personally, this is my number one distraction because it comes with emails, it comes with text messages, Instagram. So what we're gonna do with this is put a timer on it, either you know if you're spending 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, we're gonna put a timer on our phone and shove it to the side, face it, down and we're just gonna keep reading until the time goes up because honestly if it's 15 minutes no one's gonna need you in 15 minutes like you can do whatever you need to get done and not worry about it because you know when that timer's off you can be done and you can start your day another thing about the phone a lot of people do airplane mode but I personally don't use airplane mode because I do have to use my phone sometimes to look up different definitions and different analogies and things like that when studying the Bible so um, just make sure you have that discipline to just not check anything if you have to go on your phone my second tip is having a devotional or study tool to work through for the Bible. So my newfound obsession are these study journals by The Daily Grace Co. And these are really great. I found these on their website and it was actually, they were like $5 because they are slightly imperfect. So I guess there's some binding issues or something like that. But um, $5, I got three of them and I love this thing. It kind of helps you work through the Bible, gives you verses, tells you what to read, certain questions, and it really helps you stay focused on what you need to read. Now, another option for devotionals is your Bible app. This is a free app and on this app it has hundreds of thousands of devotionals that you can follow. Me and my husband did this for a while and we loved it because it gives you a day by day, it gives you the questions, it gives you some verses, it has it all right there in your phone, especially if you do not have a physical Bible, you can use the Bible app and it'll help you, you know, with the verses, you can look up whatever. I like to personally have my Bible and the Bible app devotional going, but that helps so much and you can literally type in what you're dealing with. If you're dealing with insecurity or motivation or whatever it may be, you can write it into the Bible app and then go ahead and start your devotional. So my third and final tip to not get distracted when reading the Bible is find a translation that works best for you. There are certain translations that are a little more difficult and something you might not be able to understand. I personally started with the She Reads Truth Bible, which I believe is the New Century version, so it was very easy for me to understand and read through. The She Reads Truth Bible was great for me because it was my high school going into college. Actually, I guess I'm 22, so I should be like out of college, but that was my Bible for that phase of my life. Now I'm married and I guess kind of an adult. So I did did update to an ESV Bible and these are if you're wondering what my Bible is this is the Hosanna Revival Bible so I love this one it's so beautiful but I did update to this one and I will say like I do have to go back to my phone translation to sometimes break apart certain verses because it is a little difficult for me but it is important to find a translation that works best for you if you're looking for something a little more simple when reading the Bible I highly recommend a she reads truth or he reads truth Bible it breaks it down beautifully it is so easy to comprehend it does doesn't dumb it down, so to say. There's also little examples from the creator of She Reads Truth who writes like their little, you know, parables or ideas that goes with the scripture. So I love that so much. I also just thought of a bonus tip for studying the Bible. This is if you, um, you're doing all these things and you're still kind of like, oh, I need like, you know, to get a little bit more out of this. I'm not doing so well. Um, you should join a Bible study group whether you have one at your church, most churches have like a women's or men's Bible study system type of thing. So make sure to join that if you are in St. Louis. My church, Faith Church, has um, connect groups where you can get involved with other people in the area and start reading the Bible together, which I think is really awesome. Um, there's also some stuff online. There's a lot of YouTubers that make study with me's 
Um, there's community groups and connect groups on Facebook. Like there's so many different options out there. If you need that accountability, I highly recommend getting someone to study with you. Um, also something that's cool on the Bible app, you can invite your friends and you guys can do that, do the study together without being together. I think that's a really good idea because for me, I was leading a team once and I saw this Bible study that was really, really good and I just sent it to the team and we were all reading it together. We could have our own commentary on it and it all sends us notifications when someone reads it and completes the thing. And I thought that was really cool. Okay, everyone, so something else I wanna say is please do not get overwhelmed when you see other people on social media or YouTube or whatever, you know, just running through the Bible, or even if you see this, it could be kind of overwhelming, like what in the world, like how does this look like this? Guys, like, it's so easy to get distracted. I would say like most of my days, I am very distracted. I'm a very distracted person, and it's hard to just buckle down and get in the word. So that's why we just need to be disciplined. We need to know our priorities, and we need to know. I know personally that if I'm not spending time with the Lord in the morning, my day is just crazy. I'm a cranky person. I'm way too sassy for that. I need the Lord. So it's just really important to not beat yourself up and just like, you know, bash on yourself if you miss a day or something like that. Just know that you can show up for yourself. And if you don't do it in the morning, do it in the evening, you can get on the Bible app at any time, take a bathroom break, do the little Devo, like whatever it is, like there is never an excuse to not spend time with the Lord. And I just highly recommend making sure you do this. Okay, I just thought of another thing. So this is literally the living word of God. So, you know, it's so important to invite God into your Bible reading time. So before you even open the Bible, like ask him to be a part of it, ask him to reveal things that need to be revealed and just ask him to be a part of this time because sometimes we forget and we just you know open it up and just start reading and it's just like distracting we don't know what's going on but every time I've realized if I ask the Lord like to help me he literally shows up in every situation always but especially when I ask him to be a part of this Bible reading session so like I said it's very easy to get distracted like this cute little guy we just rescued like a week ago this is Boyer everyone he's so cute He's my little my Bible studying buddy. But like I said, don't beat yourself up if you get distracted. Just try again, try harder, and just remember you know, to be disciplined and know what your priorities are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want more videos like this, comment below what you want me to record, and I will make sure to do it for you. And also, do not forget to follow me on Instagram. On my Instagram, I'm posting daily on my story just hacks and tips and business inspiration and things about the Lord, and mainly things about Boyer because he's so cute. So make sure to follow me on there, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. You're so cute. You're not distracting at all, are you? You're just a cute little baby. You love the Bible, don't you? Guys, this is so cute. Do you love the word of the Lord? Recording a video on how not to get distracted when reading the word. How not to get distracted. How can I get, how can I not get distracted when this little face just shows up? <laughs>